प्रॉब्लम नंबर 2.190 वाटर ऑफ मास m इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी ग्राम इज इनक्लोज इन थर्मली इंसुलेटेड सिलेंडर एट टेम्परेचर जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस अंडर वेटलेस पिस्टन विच एरिया इज s इक्वल्स टू फोर हंड्रेड टेन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर The outside pressure is equals to standard atmospheric pressure, means P equals to P naught, that is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5. To what height will the piston rise when water absorbs heat 20 calorie per year, 20 kilos? Okay. So if the, your system absorbs heat 20 kilojoule. then how much this piston will rise okay so let's see this question uh, suppose we have a cylinder that consists of 20 g of water and there is a weightless piston which is placed over it now we are supplying heat of 20 kJ to this system so how much this piston will rise let's assume it is rising height h so first of all we need to look that how this phenomena will take place when we start supplying the heat to this system then first we need to bring water at its boil boiling point okay so initially it is at 0 degree celsius now first of all this temperature needs to be changed at 100 degree celsius right so first we need to calculate heat required let's take q dash for boiling of water okay so this should be m into s into delta t where m is mass s is a specific heat and delta t is required change in temperature okay so out of this input heat 20 kJ this much amount of heat will be used in boiling of water so it means the remaining portion of heat that is delta q which is q minus q dash or you can write 20 kJ Minus m into s into delta t would be used for sifting the piston upside. Okay. Now see, if we'll assume that after supplying this much of heat, this water sif uh, this sifted at height h. So what is the new volume covered by this vapor? If surface area is s, height is h. so volume of this region would be h into s okay so there will be some heat which been used in latent heat of vaporization okay for that purpose we need to calculate mass of this vapor so for that we we'll use ideal gas equation that pv is equals to rt where we are taking one mole so v is equals to rt over p now if mass of water is m then we can calculate density density would be m over v so this density is equals to m into p not over rt now we have density and we have new volume then we can find out mass of vapor m dash which is rho into v so it is m into p not over rt into h into s okay some heat would be required for this absolute vapor uh, vapor 
so that heat let's take q double dash is rho naught h into s so now this much of heat required in latent heat ql that is m dash into l this total amount must be equals to the remaining amount of heat which is being supplied to this system so we need to equate them so we can write 2 into 10 to power 3 minus m into s into delta t it must be equals to rho naught uh, p naught initial pressure into h into s plus m over p naught rt into h into s so i can write 1 plus m into l over rt okay now let's substitute the values uh, value for s that is a specific heat of water is 4185.5 joule per kg kelvin okay r standard gas constant 8.31 latent heat is equals to 2256 joule per kg okay surface area s can be substituted as 410 into 10 to power minus 4 or we can continue in centimeter no need to put this conversion okay and I think rest of the values are known here we will substitute T equals to 2373 degree Kelvin and this delta T is equals to 100 mass is 20 grams so we can replace it as 0 0.020 kg so when we substitute and we do this calculation then from there we can calculate H which is equals to 20 centimeters it means when this amount of heat supplied to 20 gram of water then it will shift a weightless piston up to height of 20 centimeters.